Sunday and welcome to New Life Online. We hope you enjoy Christmas with your family and friends. I'm Leo Allen and we're so happy you're joining us today wherever you're watching from. Help us spread today's message by sharing this stream on your social media. Service is about to begin, but first, let's take a look at a couple of things coming up. New Life, we just reached 27,000 on Instagram. Follow us on social media at New Life Southeast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly content and download our app. Feel welcome to stream live on Facebook and YouTube. We got a man to go after you. We got a man to get up for 4 a.m. prayer. I never want my praise for stuff to be louder than my praise for salvation, to be louder than my praise for being in my right mind. children and we cover America. We cover our city. We cover our state. And we bind violence right now. We cover the next generation. We pray God that you deal with our sons and our daughters and our grandchildren. Hey, And this world is troubled today. This world is dark today. This world is evil today. And the only way that we can make it on this earth is that you have to be our help. You're the God that order our steps. And we got up this morning to tell you, thank you. Peace, this is Common, and I'm here to remind you of an important deadline with Go CPS, December 15th. Submit your high school application. We'd love to have you join our AIM family. Next year is going to be incredible. We are expanding and growing in every way to bring you the creative art school that you deserve. Art in Motion has given the next generation of artists and thinkers a place to call home, a place to grow, a place where they can feel safe and express themselves. So rank Art in Motion number one. And I look forward to seeing you next year. Love. New Year's Eve at New Life is not to be missed. So I'm gonna put a break! Join us in person locally and online globally for two worship experiences at 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Central Time. All services are streaming live from the temple located at 7621 South Greenwood Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. New Life Creative Arts will be on full display along with special guest artist Tasha Cobbs Leonard. This is the year of the unexpected. Stream live at newlifesoutheast.org. I am smiling because he did exactly what we asked him to do. He added to the church daily. Our goal was that 1,500 people come to know the Lord this year. Guess what? Over 1,600 people have come and we have one more month to go this month. How many people are you going to invite? How many friends are you going to bring so that they can be added to the church daily? Invite your family, invite your friends to meet you at the 7.30, 9.30, or 12.30 service so he can continue to do what? Add to the church daily. Let's go get them. Thanks again for worshiping with us today. Don't forget to meet us back here online this Tuesday night for the Afterglow with Pastor Jamon Glenn at 8 p.m. If you miss anything, you can find these announcements and more by downloading the official New Life Southeast mobile app. Have a fantastic week.
those in the building can you stand glory, glory, glory. hallelujah 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 good morning to everyone and happy last sunday happy of the year last sunday of the year we made it for those that are online yep we are physical and virtual if you do decide to come physically uh, to god be the glory our building is big enough Give that you can space. spread out amen we want to make sure that we give you the opportunity to get in the building get on the altar and go before god yeah all right, let's have prayer. Father, we love you. We thank you for letting us see another day. Hallelujah. Ooh, we thank you for letting us make it to the end of the thank year. Thank you. We have so much to be thankful about this last Sunday of the Hallelujah. year, Hallelujah. We ask you to do what you did the other Sundays. Meet us, God. Manifest your presence. Let your will be established. Let your word come forth with power. Let salvation happen, God, and bring transformation to the lives Hallelujah. of your people. Father, we look forward to what you have for us. We have great expectation, and we sit in that seat of expectation and anticipation. Be magnified and glorified and have your way today in every way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I Hallelujah. keep looking at the monitor in this jacket you got up. <laughs> A little sparkling. I mean, bling, bling, <laughs> Come on here and give us these announcements. Listen, the final prayer, the final 4 a.m. prayer of the year is this Tuesday. Come on. 4 a.m. prayer. And it's going to be right here at the tab. This the, building. At the temple in the building. So you have enough space to spread out right here. 4 a.m. Meet us in the building. If you live in Chicago, if you do not live in Chicago, log in and let's go before the Lord for 4 a.m. prayer. Listen, I want to remind you that this Thursday, Pastor is taking a break. My God. Don't say no, it like that. Don't say, how you want me to say it? It's not a break. Uh, what is it? We're just not having Bible study. <laughs> Because it's so close to New Year's Eve. Now, you know I'm having withdrawals. Go ahead. You are having withdrawals. I'm he from old school. We don't cancel nothing. He didn't even like for me to say that. All right. Well, no Bible study on Thursday, whatever that is. Ooh, all right. You're making me feel bad. But, I'm about to call it. But on Friday. But on Friday. Friday. The very next day. The very next day. New Year's Eve. New Year's right Eve. here at New Life. Two services, 7 p.m. And 10 o'clock p.m. right here at the temple. You can show up in just one day. Just hold on one day. Hold on one You'll day. You'll be right back Two in the service. Two services. Two services. Seven and ten. Seven and ten. Listen, for all of our out-of-town guests, we have a special re registration for all of our out-of-town members. You can register on newlifesoutheast.org forward slash events. And listen, January prayer and fasting is coming up. Uh, January as a church, we always consecrate. And we always have prayer and fasting. Listen, so we want to, Pastor had a very special intent this year in the year of, uh, of the unexpected. It's 20 days of fasting, 20 days of fasting. You pick three days during the week, Monday through Friday, and you fast liquids only till three o'clock. Liquids only till three o'clock. Three days till three o'clock, liquids only, and you make your petition before the Lord. Listen, it's registration because he wants to know how, know many, how many people, people around the world are going to be fasting with us. So the scan code is on the screen as well as you can register on our app to let us know that you're going to be joining us in fasting and prayer. And so it's going to be great expectation, expectation. How many of you are expecting God to do something beyond your imagination? Hallelujah. So you got to do something different if you want God to do something different. Amen. Yeah. All right, let's get ready to go into worship. Let's thank God for our choir. Can y'all do me a favor? Can we celebrate the music ministry? Every Sunday they get up. Get up. To get Show here up. to be with us. So we celebrate our music ministry, our choir. It's an ensemble today. It's not the full choir. <laughs>
the Lord. Clap your hands and let them know that you need them. Do me a favor. If you have your communion cups in your hand, can you take it out? Did they give them to you? Okay, then have a seat. Don't worry about it. You should have brought your own crackers. Be ye also ready. <laughs> All right, for those of you that are watching, don't forget on this Tuesday at 4 a.m., our prayer meeting is going to be live in this building. What are we doing? For the last prayer meeting, we want to spread out to make sure that we are a part and know that what God is doing. I mean, how many want to be physically in the building? So I'm going to need some of y'all to make the sacrifice because it is what? It is the last prayer meeting of the year. And how many of you know that God has been good to you this year? Amen. And I don't know about you, but there's power in corporate prayer. There's power when we get together and we begin to call on the name of the Lord. So I want to make sure that we extend that invitation to you. Those of you that are in the other saints, get up. Set your clocks, because guess what? The praise team is going to be here. The band is going to be here. We're going to have a little worship. Why? Because it is the last prayer meeting of the year. Can you give God a praise that you made it to the end of another year, of another year? So let's talk, if you don't mind. So this is the last sermon of the year, and this has been some kind of year. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been some kind of year. How many of us that when the virus first showed up, let's be honest, how many of us thought we would be in the house maybe a couple of weeks? Maybe a couple, we never thought that we would be dealing with something for a year or two. But how many of y'all know that God is still sovereign? In this pandemic, we've noticed, pay attention, that in the United States alone, over 800,000 people have lost their lives. So we have some people that want to argue, I think they're pushing up the numbers. You need to talk to some of those that have either had the virus or lost someone due to the virus. And they would tell you that this thing is real. Come on here. Watch me. Crime has increased. Depression, I was watching the news, is at an all-time high. Many of us got in therapy due to what is going on on the earth. Anxiety is high. They even showed that suicide has increased. Please pay attention. We as African Americans thought we don't take our lives. But that was one of the biggest tricks of the enemy because this doesn't care, doesn't care what, how old you are or what race you are or your economical status. Speaking of economical status, there's a chart that we want to show you to show you how things have increased. Look at here. Beef is going up 24%. I don't eat cow. Listen. Or pork. Thank you, Jesus. So that's not my issue. Hotels have increased 26%. Gasoline, 51%. Laundry equipment, washers and dryers, 15%. Natural gas, 28%. A used car has gone up 26%. Bacon, come on, you swine lovers. It is up 20%. Those of us that bought furniture during this season, it increased 11%. Watch me, if you rent a car, that actually went up 39%. And for those of us that eat breakfast, eggs is up, come on here, 12%. How many of y'all know that you've seen the increase in your wallet? The problem is, is that that's going up, but salaries haven't increased. So many people are feeling what the earth is dealing right now. I don't care how saved you are, you are in this earth and you are supposed to feel Feel this. Come over here. I need you to make sure that you're not around somebody who can't feel this. Can you just look at somebody and say, oh, I feel this. Come on, type that on the screen. Oh, I feel this. Come over here. I know what's going on. Now, I want to show you something. This same situation, if you study scripture, I always teach you, whatever you're going through, find that thing in the Bible. 
You have to look for this thing in Scripture because it'll show you how you should deal with it. You can find this, pay attention, in 2 Kings chapter 6 and 7. A king of Aram mobilized his entire army and marched up and seized Samaria. When they locked them in and boxed them in, things began to increase. Something was going on that they were locked, pay attention, in. They couldn't get out, and it began to take a toll on them. Allow me to show you in 2 Kings 5, I'm sorry, 7 and 25 out of the Living Bible. Look at the screen. As a result of what? Of what is going on on the earth. Here it is. There was a great famine in the city. It is a famine in the city. Pay attention. Um, the siege lasted, here's the line I want, so long. Nobody thought that it would be going on this long, but it was going on so long. Watch me, watch the increase. That a donkey's head sold for 80 pieces of silver. Watch me, they so desperate that a cup of dove's dong, what is that, mess, sold for five pieces of silver. Things are increasing. The death rate is at an all-time high. The Bible lets us know that they were so desperate that they were cooking and eating their own children. Come on here. Then they be, watch me. And then they begin to point the finger, look at me, and blame. Many people want to blame the government. Y'all want to blame China. You want to blame everybody. But how many of y'all know that God is sovereign? They actually blamed Elisha, the prophet. And it also blows my mind that many people want to blame the church for what's going on in the community. They were completely hopeless. The Bible says at one point that a king, the king was walking and a woman began to cry out to him. Look at the screen. Can I show you what the king said? Those that sit in seats of authority, you have to monitor your emotions and your feelings. The Bible says in 2 Kings 6 and 27, the king replied, if the Lord does not help you, where can I get help for you? In other words, I, can, I ain't got nothing for you. And watch me, watch me, Christians, look at me. You might not be able to help them in the natural realm, but you got to shift in the spirit and let them know that God is God. God, come on here. You cannot let the natural situation smother your spirituality. Mm. Come on here. I need you to make sure you're around some, some, somebody who know that God is still sovereign. Come on, nudge somebody say, he's still in control. You won't see this on the screen, but I saw it last night. If there was a lack of faith, please, everybody, listen to what is about to come out of my mouth. In 2 Kings 6 and 33, the last verse in chapter 6, the king said, this disaster is from the Lord. Pay attention to this. Why should I wait for the Lord any longer? Why should I keep praying why should i keep seeking the lord obviously he's not paying us any attention because it has been going on so long so long please hear me please hear me so long don't mean that god is not still in control so long don't mean that he can't flip it so long don't mean that he don't understand the feelings of what you are going through and out of nowhere please hear me there was a word from the Lord I came to let some of y'all know at the end of 2021 there is a word from the Lord. Hey, alert, alert, pay attention, because what he speak, he has to do. Come on here. What was the word of the Lord? If you go to 2 Kings 7 and 1, Elisha replied, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Pay attention. I've 
this time tomorrow. Mm. About this time tomorrow, a sale of the finest flour will be will, will sell for a shekel in two shades of flour of ba barley for a shekel at the gate. What does it mean? Things are about to level out. What was high is about to be low. What had you is about to release you. Pay attention. What is the word of the Lord saying? It's gonna happen suddenly. I just wish I had at least a hundred people online and a hundred in the building that could just release that word. Can you open your mouth and say this? It's going to happen suddenly. So last night when I was reading this, I need you to hear what the Lord said to me. He says, what I didn't do in years, I could do within 24 hours. Y'all didn't hear what I just said. The Lord told me to tell you what I didn't do in years. I literally can flip it within 24 hours. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Lord has a word for somebody that you thought that God had forgotten about you, but you're about to have a suddenly and immediate turn, which means that you're going to go to bed one day, and by the time you get up, your situation would have turned. Some of y'all say, well, I need to see it. You don't live by faith if you have to see it you just need to hear it and once I hear it those of you that are in the building can I get you to look at three people and just say suddenly I need you to hear that 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 can you come on let's release another word look at me look at me look at me say, say immediately Hey, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Mm. About this time, tomorrow, somebody, situation is going to flip. About this time, tomorrow, See, well, what time is it? 7.49 a.m. About. Oh, I just, I, I like to hear. I, some things I need to hear it. Come over here. Can everybody open your mouth? Can you type it on the screen? Please hear me, you people of faith. I need you to say this like you're saying it with authority. Can you say about this time, tomorrow, you're going to feel better. Your body gonna be healed. Your name is gonna be brought up. Your house is gonna turn. Your ministry is gonna be blessed. Your anointing is gonna increase. Favor is about to be released on your life. Come on, y'all. Open your mouth again. I'm trying to put that out there. I'm trying to put that out there. Because if we put it out there, that means that God has to do it. Can you look at open your mouth and shout again? About this time tomorrow. Now put these two words say suddenly. Come on, say this to him immediately. Now put a praise on that right there. Go. Your breathing is going to be better. Your lungs are going to be stronger. I feel myself going out here now. Cancer going to be healed. Your body is about to bounce back. About this time. Now watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. So when the word is released, 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 it is important that you protect your ear gates. When the word is released, it is important that you protect, hear me clearly, your ear gates. I don't care how much word God speaks, somebody is not going to shift out of the natural and go into the spirit. And you need to be careful with who you let speak in your ear. 
Come over here. Let's go. So who do you listen to? Watch me. When, when the prophet released the word, the king was sitting there. And I need you to see this. Who do you listen to? And I need, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at verse 2. The officer, pay attention to this. On whose arm the king was leaning, said to the man of God, look, even if the Lord should open up the floodgates of the heavens, could this happen? Why is the Bible making sure that we understand who said it? It says the arm on the one that the king leaned on, which means that some of us have to be careful with those that are that close to us. It is amazing how those that are not close can believe faster than those that are, are close. Come on here. You better be careful who you leaning on. Y'all ain't saying it to me. Because when you hear a flip, the last thing you need to be is around leaning on negativity. This is why I even tell some of y'all, be careful who you sit next to when you come in the building. Because I don't need to be close. Pastor Hannah say, touch your neighbor too much for me to be touching negativity. But when I touch somebody, I need to touch faith. I need to be around somebody that if God said it. He said, hey, listen, listen to this. And the officer on who's, he said, even if the Lord should open the floodgates of the heaven, could this happen? But mess me up. You're not going to sit on the screen, but I got to say this. Is that Elijah, Elisha looked at the, at, the, at the one that spoke negativity. Watch me, it said, watch me. You will see it, but you won't. Uh, Y'all not. Uh, he said, you going to see it but you ain't gonna eat none of it which means that you're gonna be around people who will see it but won't be able to enjoy it the earth will open you will see it but you'll be stuck where we used to be I don't know about you but if I see it doggone it I want it you'll see it but you won't eat it. Because watch me. What watch me? You didn't pay attention to what you how you responded with what you heard will determine what you enjoy. How you responded determines your future. How you respond to the word determines if you get to have it. I'm going to give y'all one more chance to respond. Now, you can sit here if you want to. Mm -mm, Reverend, I just don't believe it. Uh, listen, I've been in this scene too long. Uh, what did I tell you? What he didn't do in years, he could do within 24 hours. And I don't just want to see it, but I want to sit at the table and enjoy all things that are now ready. And I want to be able to enjoy everything that... I'm going to give you one more chance. Watch me. Your praise is your response. Your praise is, yeah, you can sit there if you want to. You can be at home locked in depression. But if I were you, I'd throw my covers off me and just start giving God glory. Because not only do I want to, I don't want to just see everybody living. I don't just want to see everybody happy. I don't want to see everybody progressing and I'm stuck. What I see, I want to see it. I want to touch it. I want to experience it. Those of you that believe, not only are you going to see it, but doggone it, you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy all the benefits of still being in the land of the living. Let your praise be your response. On the count of three, go for it, bro. It's on you. On you. One, two, three, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. By this time, yeah, y'all know you're gonna get a break before you go into 2022. You're gonna get a praise report before you go into. Hey, have a seat.
around and got stuck in the in the pandemic but i've been living on the edge of the pandemic i've been waiting on this thing to live i've been waiting on god to come on those in the building those online can you just release the prophetic word of the lord by this time feel better immediately your name is gonna be brought up your house is gonna be blessed your ministry is about to rebound those online I need you to put the emoji with the eyebrow the the eyes those in the building just look at somebody and say we connected let's go let's go all right you gotta hear me have a seat i don't want to do this by myself i don't want to enjoy this thing called life by myself you gotta hear me i don't want to um reap the benefits by myself in other words i'm looking for the let's go get it people this is why i told you to send emoji with the eyes or you just look at somebody and do it i i am i am not a selfish individual that i want to make sure that if i get it I don't want to be the only one testifying like, listen, the earth is open and it's going down. I mean, he is doing some things that is amazing. I need you to look at somebody and go, look, let's go, let's go. Then the Bible takes a flip. Then the Bible takes a flip. You got to hear me. So who going to set it off? Who gon' who gon' who is God gonna use to flip it? You got it like, <laughs> like 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 the, the prophet speaks, but then the prophet backs up. Somebody speak negativity, and the prophet step back in and say, You gonna see it, but you ain't gonna get to eat it. Then then back back up. Now who gonna set it off? Who gonna release this thing? Watch me. People that are just sitting, giving in to it, are not the ones. You gotta hear me. Then the Bible introduced us to four people and they are lepers. Watch me. Lepers mean, watch me, watch me. They are not perfect. They, leprosy is a skin disease and if you were a leper, you, were, you, you had a physical condition, you also had a, a social condition condition because they will put you out and I'm so ever look at me I, I need to say this I, I need I need I, it's a good time to be you it's a ooh, it's a good time not to be perfect it's a good time to be you and for lepers they have a physical condition they have a social condition they have an appearance it is the least expected. Oh, it's a good time to be you. I want to, giving honor to God who's ahead of my life, I want to thank God for everybody that rejected me. I want to thank God for everybody that said I'll never amount to anything. I want to thank God for those that were waiting on me to go down because when you were waiting on me to go down, he was releasing me. I want to... And you got to find somebody who don't think they better than you. This is why he says, and four lepers. How can two walk together 
unless they agree. Watch me. And be ye not unevenly yoked together with an unbeliever. That don't mean just dating. That means living. I don't need to be connected with somebody who don't believe that God could turn our situation suddenly and immediately. I need to make sure that I'm connected with somebody who believe in miracle signs and wonders. What he didn't do in years, he could do within four, 24 hours. I need, to, I need to make sure I'm around some crazy people. I need to make sure that I'm around somebody who believe. Watch me, if he didn't do it then, don't mean that he can't do it now. Four lepers watch their conversation watch their conversation if we say we go back into the city because don't forget they put us out so you put them you put me out and you're saying if i go back to the city if i keep backing up into 2021 and 2019 Oh, we die. The famine is there, and we will die. But if we stay here, if we get stuck into the present, if you submit to now and say it is what it is, oh, you're going to die. Yep, so if I go back, I die. If I stay here, I die. So let's go over. Let's just get out of 2021. Let's make a conscious decision. Let's go forward. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be mad at somebody who offended me in 2019 or 2020 or 21. I got to go. Oh, I wish I was in the building with both forward people. I'm looking at some people who still stuck. I don't have time to be worried about what I didn't do. If I could have, would have, should have. I don't got time to be worried about what the mistake I made. I'm only going to surround myself with people who are ready to move forward. I'm ready. I'm ready to go forward. And I need you. I need you. I need you to look at somebody and say, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's taking a chance. It's taking. So let's go over to the camp of the Arameans and surrender. If they spare us, who knows? We live. If they kill us, but at least we can say we died trying. I can't stand a punk. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. I cannot. I cannot be around no weak people. I cannot be around no negative people. I got to be around people who are ready and who believe that things can change suddenly. I need you to check your surrounding. And so watch me. As I'm speaking, some of y'all are realizing that you've been in the house with the, leaning on your family, and they've been talking crazy. Some of y'all have had some best friends that talk crazy, and the Lord said, "Well, I need you to stop leaning on them." <laughs> and I need you to listen to who you never thought that you would have to listen to. I need you to be around forward people, and I keep trying to get you out of the, from around negative people, but you keep leaning on them. When are you going to realize that the moment that you stop leaning on them and lean on me, I'm about to put you in the right circle? I believe in environment. I believe in circle. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. You, you, you younger generation, I mean, I need, I need to be around the right energy. Look, me too. I need to be around the right energy. You can call it energy. I call it discernment. I need to be around spirit-filled people that believe that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard what God has in store for us. I need you to check your energy in your section. I need you to... So now watch me. watch me. Saying it is one thing. And I need you to hear me because I'm around people who do a whole lot of talking. I'm so sick of talking. I'm sick of people who going on social media posting one thing but living another. I am sick of people who showing, standing in front of cars that you don't even own. I'm sick of people taking pictures with their family and just acting like, mm, look. Within 24 hours, your house is about to flip.
I need you to make sure you're around a go-getter. And this is what some of y'all, your year been like. Just an empty bag. But I'm so glad you held on to the bag. Because the longer you hold on to the bag, that means that you're giving God time to fill it. And I need you to make sure you're next to a bag holder. I need you to make sure you're around somebody say, I almost gave up the bag. But something kept telling me, hold on. Weeping may endure for a night. There it is again. But joy come within 24 hours. It's just... Now, I, I need you to hear me. So what's amazing is, it's not one leper. It's clear that it is four of them. And the Bible says, and they, if you read this, when you go to um, 2 Kings 7 chapter, you should just read the verbs, the action. And if you pay attention, it's not one person, but it is they. It is them. And some of us, watch me, it's not three of them and one is sitting putting the responsibility on three to do it which means that you have to be around people that everybody is doing equal of what needs to be done i'm trying to tell and, and for some of y'all that are listening right now he's literally about to shave your circle the bible say lay aside every weight y'all ain't ready for me Watch me, watch me. I'm, I don't want to be around people that's talking about praying. I want to be around people that do pray. I don't want to be around people who talk spiritual. I want to be around people who are spiritual. I don't want to be around religious people. I want to be around people who believe that God can do anything. And I need to make sure that I'm around somebody that you do your part. If I speak it, you agree with it. But I need somebody who's going to validate it in the spirit realm and say the devil is a liar. Now here it is. You got to get this. Sitting and talking. Can you, can, can you bring me a cheer? Bring me a cheer. Because I am sick of people who just sitting, doing nothing. Waiting on us to do everything. And you got to be careful that you don't seek the advice of people that do nothing. That's going to try to tell you how to do something. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. And you got to be careful because, watch me, and it's been going on a long time. And if you're not careful, you will get comfortable just sitting. If you're not careful, you will put your bag down because you begin to think that it's not going to happen. Pay attention. And when you put your bag down, storms come to blow your bag away. Y'all ain't saying that to me. But I am talking to a group of people the devil is a liar. If he were going to let me die, I would have died of leprosy. But he let me live in, with leprosy in the midst of a famine. Which means that there were people that didn't even have it as bad as I had it. And they already gone. But he kept me in the land of the living for such a time as this. Calm down, John. Don't go too high in the spirit. Ooh. I need you to make sure you sit next to a bag holder. Come on, look at somebody and say, it's getting ready to happen. is about to be brought up. Your house is about to ship. Yay! Come on, make sure you sit next to somebody who has action. Those online, I need you to make sure that you're ready for this. I need you to type us, I'm doing what? 
I'm doing what? I'm clapping, I'm standing, I'm dancing, I'm moving, I'm shouting, I'm bowing, I'm worshiping. But I need you to put, I'm doing what? Those of you that are in the building, hey, hey, look at, look at them and say, hey, 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 let's do something. Let's give God a praise right here. But there needs to be some action. There needs to be some movement. There has to be. You cannot just sit and think that it's going to happen. You have I'm doing what? Everyone stand to your feet. And they got up around dusk. And they got up. And they got up. Because in this pandemic, it's been hard to get up. It's been hard to keep it moving. Some of y'all, you keep getting up. And I want to thank God that you did not give in to what you felt. And the men who had leprosy reached, they reached the edge of the camp. What does that mean? They had to leave their comfort zone and they went to the edge of something new. You have to hear me. And some of y'all, you are on the edge of another year. You have literally reached the edge of another year. Ura Masaya. Shaya. Come on back. Mm. Can everybody just say, I made it? And when you, because you reached the edge of it, I need you to go ahead and enter in. And they entered one of the tents and they ate. All things are now ready. Stop, stop. Why is it empty? Why is it available? The Bible says that God had called the Arameans to hear an army coming. God calls them to hear what they didn't hear. But God literally began to mess with their hearing to the point that they got up and they left everything. Y'all better hear me. You about to reap what you didn't sow. Some things have been left behind waiting on you to show up. Somebody, I need you to hear me. You want a multi, a building with multiple apartments in it. You're going to own different pieces of land. Somebody's about to leave something that God's about to make available for you. And all you did was got up and got to the edge of it. And when you got to the edge of it, you saw... Can everybody, I'm going to monitor my time. Okay, we're good. Can everybody online, can everybody in the building, can you release? It's so amazing to me how Pastor Jamon and I just studied this like a week ago, but things are just tying together. Can you just look at somebody and say, all things are now ready. Shaya. Rotoreba say. 
Come on, y'all. I need you to say that like you got another leper around you. I need you to say that like you got somebody who's been waiting on a miracle. Can you look at somebody and say, hey, 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 all things are now ready. Why do you think I kept you in the land of the living? Why do you think I didn't let you go down? Why do you think that you are still here? Because I have prepared a table for you in the presence of... And they ate and they drank and they took come help me stop 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 this is why it wasn't just one this is why it had to be multiple people because you're going to need help to carry your stuff. Some of y'all talking about, I don't like being around people. That is a trick of the enemy. God's trying to get the right people around you. Come on. Hold on. Bring the scripture up. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Bring the scripture back up. And they ate. And they drank. And they, take, and they took silver and gold and clothes. Ready? Here's my line. Ready? Go put that up. Stop. Go put that up. Go put that up. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. What, is it? what does that mean? You're about to get a stacking anointing. He's not going to just give you enough to make it for one day. Your manner days are over. He's about to give you the ability to put some things up that you'll never be in this place again. And some of y'all, you have never stacked, but what's about to be released for you, he's about to give you more than enough. Your lack days are over. Bring the scripture up. Bring the scripture up. And they return. Come on back. And entered another tent which means that and another well and another table stop 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 you ready you got to hear this one so like Tavares you do real estate what is God saying don't just lock me into real estate there's some other areas that I want to increase your status there's another tent that you've never entered into yet but it's waiting on you to show up. And for some of y'all, if I can stop getting you just to focus on one thing and know how God's about to open up, he's about to, he's literally about to enlarge your territory. Let's go. And they entered another tent. And they entered another tent. And they entered another tent. And they, and they returned and entered another tent. And took oh my god this is good this is good wait 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 isn't it amazing that some boxes can't fit in the bag which means some things are gonna be so big that you can't bag it but it don't mean that it don't belong to you y'all ain't hear what i'm saying because what you couldn't fit you could carry take it and put it up and i need some of y'all I need your praise to reflect your bag. If you got a small praise, then you holding a small bag. But if you got a big praise, watch me, yo, watch me, watch me. Then that means that you got a big bag awaiting you. Eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard what God has in store for us. I need your praise to reflect your bag. Release it right here. Go.
it's getting ready to happen but another virus is in the land I ain't thinking about that virus it's getting ready to happen but they might shut the earth down which means if they shut the earth down God gonna show up even more powerful I need you to hear me. It would blow your mind who God has blessed in this season. And the problem is that some of y'all, you have not told, you have not released your testimony of how good God has been to you. If the truth be told, some of y'all did better than this season. If the truth be told, you made more in the pandemic. You had more peace in the pandemic. He freed you from a stressful situation in the pandemic. If the truth be told, they said, <laughs> this Bible ain't no joke. They said to each other, what we are doing is not right. It ain't right. This is a day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves. If we wait until daylight, punishment will overtake us. Why? Because you didn't make known his goodness. You did not make known the fact that God had opened some doors for you and blessed you in a way. You ask me, you were so busy hiding your stuff when somebody needed to see your stuff to know that God is able. Well, um, bring that back up, bring that back up. If we don't do this, we will be punished by daylight. Let us go at once and report this to the royal palace. You better hear me. I'm not going to explain my praise. But you better believe I got some victories behind me. If I lay on the altar, don't mess with me. Don't tell me I ain't got to come to church. You don't understand how I've been hooked up since I've been coming to the house of the Lord. I... And the Bible says, and they announced it to the gatekeeper. And he told it to the palace. And then the palace tried to talk a little crazy. And the palace, watch me, told the arm bearer, you go control the gate. And the arm bearer controlled the gate. Pay attention to this. And the Bible said, when the news got out that all things were now ready, there was a rush, a rush, hear this clearly, that they trampled and killed the naysayer. He saw it but didn't get to eat it. And some of y'all, 
you keep trying to drag the naysayer when you're going to have to run over them. In order for you to live, I ain't, I ain't come on here. I'm going to need you to just keep it moving. And I don't know about you, watch me, I am a people person and I find it difficult to keep it moving sometimes because there are people that have been, I've been around for years, I'm trying to pull you, but you don't want to go. You don't want to go. It's the last Sunday, hear the word of the Lord. So the Lord told me, John Hannah, you have until December the 31st to keep begging old new life, come back, come back, come back. After December the 31st, you cannot beg them anymore. You have to now go after the lost. You have to go after those that I've prepared to come and sit at the table. I'm not saying nothing to you. Come over here. And I'm trying to get some of y'all, watch me. I'm not trying to put your life in danger. I'm just trying to get you back activated to the point because laying there has taken a toll on you. And so how many of y'all realize that all things are now I need you to make sure that you're around somebody who has movement. If you're in the building, just look at them and say, I'm going to need you to move in a few more minutes. Because God's about to fill us up with an energy. He's about to give us a drive that's going to be pit bull. He's about to give you Another win that's gonna be you about to go full speed ahead. And if you notice, I'm not surprised of the news. Oh my god, what's the name of this new virus? Who oh who? I'm a who? I'm a crime. Omarion. <laughs> I don't even want to know his name. I keep messing his name up. Because I'm not surprised that, you know, that hit, like, ah! Because it puts fear back in people, like, and then you start confessing opposite of what God is saying. And it's almost like somebody has to say, hey! All things are now ready. The earth is open. Your name is about to be called. Stop, oh, whoa. Stop waiting on them to lock the earth down. Because with that comes a spirit that almost took you out the last time. But prepare to shift. Lift your hands in this building. Lift your hands in your home, wherever you are. Close your eyes and open your mouth and worship God for what is now being made available for you. Come on, a few seconds, just a few seconds. Come on, I am speaking to you right there where you are. I need you to lift your hands, every preacher, every teacher, every discouraged individual. Open your mouths and worship. There are about 20 of you all that say, I just need a minute on the altar. I don't want to stop you from getting what you need. If you know you need to be recharged, if you know that you need to be refocused, if you know that you need your strength back, get out of your seat and you come to the altar. You keep your mask on. We're being protective, but we're going to get everything that we need from God. Open your mouths and just worship God for the next 10 seconds. Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, so they went out and they called out to the city gatekeepers and they trampled over the negativity and they trampled over the negativity and they got exactly what they needed 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 
and they got exactly what they needed and they got exactly what they needed and they got exactly what they needed they weren't looting they were receiving the blessings of the Lord for everyone I want you to prepare yourselves and this is the scripture in Proverbs 13 22 a good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous blessings are about to overtake you <laughs> But it's not going to happen with you just sitting there. For some of you all, you can move in ministry. You can do something in church. Sitting in the house is not going to do it for you. Some of y'all live in another state, but you remember here, then you join the online and you help us build the online. You make sure you got to pour. But some of you all, I need you to get your breath back. I need you to get your energy back. I need you to hear me, transparent moment. Last week, I'm just laying in bed. At one point, I, I stayed in bed too long to the point that depression, I felt like, I was like, what? Why am I feeling drained? Why am I feeling depleted? Get up. Get up. You need movement. You got to shift. You got to shift. One of my pastor friends bought me the, I miss my psycho guy. They bought me a Peloton bike. They said it will be delivered on the 29th so that you can begin. What do you mean? You better find somebody who's going to invest in your movement. And I'm looking at some of y'all. You have to hear me. You cannot stand still in 2022. Your standstill days are over. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Speak to the bones at first, now prophesy to the wind. Now I command the Holy Spirit to come on every individual that hears these words. Speak to the wind. I command energy to come. I command strength to come. I command drive to come. I pray that you be enthused about what you're doing. I pray, I pray for creativity to come. I pray that God begin to enlarge your thinking and enlarge your territory. I pray that God blow the wrong people out of your life and blow the right people into your life. I pray that God give you the right support that you need. I pray that God bring your name up. I pray that the wind grab your name and it drop it off where exactly where it's supposed to be. On the count of three, everybody release your name. One, two, three, John Hanna! I pray that God put wind in your prayer life. I pray that God put wind in your praise. I pray that God give you the spirit of consistency. I pray that you be not weary in well-doing. I pray that you be not weary in well-doing. I pray that you be not weary in well-doing. I thank you for the stacking anointing that is coming. I thank you for that you're about to put a new praise on our lips. Are you ready? I need your praise to match where you're going. I need you to get ready to release the praise. And I pray that God put a wind behind you. I pray for every person that assisted me. I pray for Jessica. I pray for Wayne. I pray for everyone that helped on the stage. I pray for those that work, work behind the scene. I pray for those in the production. I pray for every camera person. I pray for every security. I pray for every person that has been moving and making sure that the gospel does not get lost. I pray for every teacher, every preacher, every evangelist, every pastor, every prophet, every apostle. I pray for second wind on the count of three. I need a praise 
God, can you put the Holy Spirit on this praise? Let it break through the airways. Let it hit people's houses. Let it get down in our spirit. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. I pray for the second wind. On the count of three, release your praise. Don't hold back. Fill your bag up with praise. One, two, three, go! to do just what he said oh he's able just what he said he would do oh he's able he's gonna fulfill every promise to you he's gonna don't give up on God say what because he won't give up on you say what he's able how many of y'all can feel that thing in the spirit? He's gonna do his part. He just needs you to do yours. Hey, hey, he's, he's able. able. Yes, he is. Say it yes, one more time. Is. Oh, say God is able to do just what he said he will do. You say it. You say it. words that come out of your mouth. I need you to say it. He's able. Everybody say He's able. Come on, say that over your house. Everybody say He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Lift your hands and worship God right there. What he didn't do in years, he could do within 24 hours. What he didn't do in years, he could do within 24 hours. And I pray that the suddenly and the immediately hit your life. Adabasi shiki. What he didn't do in years, he could do it within 24 hours. Come on, everybody, open your mouth and make that confession. What he didn't do for me in years, he could do it for me within 24 hours. I need that to come out of your mouth. What he didn't do for me in years, he's able to do it for me within 24 hours. So I praise him for what he's able to do. On your way to your seat, fist bump three people and just say, he's able. Yeah. He's able. He's able. Yeah. He's able. He's able. Come on, everybody, say, He's able. Come on, he did a fist bump somebody and say, What? He's able. He's no respect of person. Open your mouth and say it again. He's able. Say it! He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Say it! He's able. Every parent said. He's able. Every married person said.
say it. Easy. Every single person say it. Easy. Everybody say it. He's able. Say it like you mean it. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. Put a praise right there, won't you? By this time tomorrow, he's able. 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 That's Bible. There's someone at home right now. I'm gonna talk to you first. The earth is open. And all things are now ready for you. I don't want you to walk in fear, I want you to walk in wisdom. But being locked in, living in fear is not of God. I need you to monitor your confession. There's someone that's listening, watching right now. Number one, you have to accept the Lord. Some of y'all listen to me, this thing took a toll on you and you're in a backslidden state. And the Lord said, you'll see this still available at the table. And there's someone that's listening to you in another state, but you don't have a covering. You don't have a shepherd. You could join online. If you look on the screen, you pray that prayer, then you're going to text words new life to 91694 and have a team that's going to call you. There are about 20 of you this morning that are watching me online. I'm coming for you. And I'm sounding the alarm. It's open and all things are now ready. There are three people in this building on the last Sunday of the year. I need you to get out of your seat and make the declaration that my 2022 is going to be better than my 2021. That I'm going to be in the right, in the right place around the right people. There are three of you in this building. Do me a favor, everyone, can you stand? Everyone, can you stand? Because I don't want anyone to step over you. There are three of you. And some of you, are, you've been visiting, but God said today is the day. Put your mask on, get out of your seat, and walk towards me right now. Who am I waiting on? Get out of your seat and come towards me immediately. There's one, there's two, immediately get out of your seat there's one more person that's supposed to be up here and I need you to move quickly 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 when you shift your house shift get out of your seat one thing the Holy Ghost don't do is that he don't lie to me and if you in here, I know you in here. I just need you to follow my lead. Why am I begging you to get to the table? I will count. There you go. Holy Ghost don't lie. The Holy Spirit is real. Do me a favor. I want my team to take you all that are standing here. Can you follow this gentleman right here? And you're going to follow him. You're going to follow him. Let's give God a hand. Praise for souls. For those that accept the Christ, you see that code. You can do that on the phone. You have a seat. And you can make it happen that easy as well. I want us to prepare our last Sunday seat. When I pay my tithes, I pay my tithes always on the last Sunday of every month. That is mine. I pay my tithes. And I make sure that I make sure that I give God exactly what is His. I'm begging some of y'all, don't let the holidays stop you from giving God what is His. But I want everyone to get your last Sunday seed. Some of y'all can give an, an offering of 25, 50, 100. To whom much is given, much is required. Can you give God your thank you seed? Can this be your thank you seed? How do you give? You can text the words NLCSC to 91694. 
You, if you're on our app, you can give. If you're on our website, you can give. If you're in the middle of check-in, you can give. Because somebody, everybody give your thank you seed. I'm grateful that he let me make it to the end of another year. And I want some of y'all to be, pay attention. Can I teach you something? Whenever the Lord have you saving, 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 that means that a blessing is on the way. You have to hear me. Something is coming soon. Whenever you stack, you need to be paying attention that your blessing is closer than you realize. Why would, he, why would I send you your blessing and you're not ready to receive it? For many of you all, now your keys are about to be released. Now your next investment is about to be released. And if some of y'all pay attention, the Holy Spirit is about to lead you into areas that you have no experience in. But it's the area that God is calling you to come in. And another tent. And another tent. And another tent. Somebody's leaving something for you to get it. And it's an another tent. Some of y'all have been talking yourself out of owning your own place. When God is ready, to, the earth will give you what belongs to you. You keep bringing up your credit score. Mm. And God's about to blow your mind. Come on, I want everyone to get a seed in your hand. Once you have it, can you stand to your feet? Lift it up to the Lord and repeat after me. I'm going to tithe and give up. And I am blessed beyond measure. I have more than enough. I'm living in my overflow. Come on, say this. I am living. What you living? In Ephesians 3.20. How long are you living it? For the rest of my life. Can everybody say, in another tent? <laughs> Come on, you're going to give your seat. If you have an envelope on you out of the building, you'll see this deposit. For those of you that are watching right now, Pastor Jamon will be doing the 9.30, and I'll be back doing the 12.30. For some of y'all, you still have time to get dressed and get in this building. Only thing we ask you to do is take your temperature, put your mask on, and we going in. Amen. God bless you. God, can see yourselves dismissed. If you're from out of town, if you give me a minute, let me change shirts. I'll meet you in the lobby, and we can greet you. God bless you.